Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one asks, what are the representative elements of the periodic table? Okay, so the representative elements. You can think of these elements as like the main group elements. In the S and P blocks. With the exception of the noble gases. Okay, so these elements have completely filled inner orbitals. And incomplete outer orbitals. Okay, so some examples are like your alkali metals. Lithium, or like your alkaline earth metals, like beryllium. And even like your halogens, like chlorine and fluorine. And bromine and sodium. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, some elements from the S blocks and P blocks are called representative elements because the outer shells are not completely filled with electrons and will achieve inert gas configuration by losing, gaining, and or sharing electrons. So in this diagram they have here, the representative elements are, is the elements shaded in gray. Uh, the middle are the yellow, tran uh, the middle transition elements. And lastly, the last two rows are the lanthanide and actinide series, and then in the red are your noble gases. So group 1 elements are also called al alkali metals and are metallic with one valence electron. Uh, the elements are soft solids. They have low densities as compared to heavy metals, good conductors of heat or electricity, and they have low melting and boiling points as compared to heavy metals. So group 1 metals are very reactive. So this is like lithium and sodium. And for group 2 elements, alkaline metals, they have two valence electrons. They are soft, good conductors of electricity, and are reactive with reactivity increasing as you go down the group. 
Group 3 elements have three valence electrons, so their metals are soft, have a lower uh, melting point and boiling point, and also good conductors. So this is like aluminum. And then group 4 have four valence elect electrons and semiconductors of electricity. So this is like carbon. Uh, group 5 have five valence elect electrons, and their physical properties change from non-metal to metallic properties. So this is like phosphorus. And then group 6 consists of non-metals, metalloids, and metals with six valence electrons. And the properties, uh, they range, uh, so that's why they have different uh, types. Uh, so for example, like oxygen and sulfur. And then for group 7, these are the halogens. Uh, melting and boiling point increases as you go down the group. And reactivity also decreases as you go down the group. So then this is like our fluorine, chlorine, and bromine. So the solution is correct.